Welcome, in front of me is an Asco C20 Pro and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Before I get started, I am going to quickly mention that we will need internet connection for this. And uh, typically I would be showing you that the device is locked, but I think this actually might interfere somehow with the bypass. So um, I'm going to just point out that you can see we have a lock icon right here that signifies that the device is indeed locked. And that's as far as I will go. So uh, to get started, you want to go forward till you get to the connect uh, to Wi-Fi page and you want to simply sign into your network. So I'm going to sign into mine. There we go. And once you sign into it, you want to back out to the very beginning. You're going to select vision settings. Then we're going to select talkback. Enable it. And you want to turn down the volume most likely because it will start to talk back on. do this. Checking for downloads. Welcome to talk back. So I'm just going to mute it as it is very distracting to me. In any case, uh, once it's enabled, we now want to just draw a mirrored L on a screen like so. It will pop up with this kind of uh, window right here. So we're going to select while using the app. So double tap on this uh, selected option. Then single tap use voice commands and before you double tap on it i'm just going to quickly mention that we will need to say to the device audibly tell it um, open google assistant and then open settings so first we're going to do the open google assistant so you will see that and then once it opens that we're going to follow up by giving the open settings command to the google assistant so open google, uh, google assistant Open settings. Open settings. Okay. Uh, now, I want to point out one thing that I just noticed. I tried to record this video before. And when I did, uh, when it opened up Google Assistant, it started first uh, talking to me about what Google Assistant is without like me doing anything uh, in regards to that. So if it does that to you, don't worry, just wait for it to finish up. And you'll see at the bottom where I had these like uh, four little wobbly uh, lines, uh, that meant that it was listening to me, even though I did need to say it twice because first time around I didn't do anything. Uh, if it's going to be giving you the description of what Google Assistant is at the very first uh, go, uh, instead of these little lines that you have at the bottom right here, you'll see four dots kind of like, I don't know, uh, just I think spinning. And when they're doing that, you need to wait for it to change into those bars that are wobbling uh, that signifies that it is listening to you. In any case, once settings is open, you want to navigate to apps and notification. Actually, before that, we need to suspend talkback. So hold volume up and volume down at the same time. There we go. And from here, we're going to select turn on and double tap and hold volume up and down again. And now we can use the display normally. So we're going to click on the apps and the notifications, then see all 32 apps or however many you have. Then select Android setup. Here we're going to select for stop. OK, go back once and scroll down to Google Play services right over here. Disable, disable app for stop and OK. Once that's done, we now want to back out to the beginning of the setup. There we go. And we're going to select start, skip, and then back. And there we go. Um, and you can see uh, we're still technically connected to the network, but we have the option to set up offline visible right now. So we're going to again back out, vision settings, talk back, enable, draw the L, or mirror the L, uh, select use voice commands, open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Go. Oh. oh no, what have I done? Let's try that again. I did screw up right here. Um, open settings. Uh, the reason I said YouTube is because that's one of the bypasses uses that kind of method. Um, in any case, uh, so settings again, and here we're gonna go to again apps. 
We're gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. And we're gonna enable it. And then again, we're gonna back out. And we're gonna again go through the setup. Skip, back, and set up offline and continue. Now it is very crucial you do this in this exact kind of way. Uh, you don't go any further. If you wait too long with the backing, it's going to progress further and catch on the fact that it's locked. So the setup offline option will disappear. And in this case, if, if you don't have the setup offline option, you would need to basically, again, go to the recovery mode and uh, fully factory reset the device and start from the beginning. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I needed to do as this is the second time I'm recording it. So if it's not working for you, just make sure you follow me to the T in terms of uh, what I do and when I do it. So here we can just finish up the setup at this point. There we go. And there's one last thing that we will need to do, which is navigate into the settings. No, there we go, it's right over here. We're gonna scroll all the way down to system, or reset options, and then select erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, and then confirm that by selecting it for the last time. This will go through a fully full, full reset of the device. Um, and this will complete the uh, bypass basically so we right now just kind of circumvented it uh factory resetting the device through settings makes the device go basically become fully unlocked so we went from bypassing it to just removing the protection so that's what you want to uh, do as the last step just to remove the protection altogether uh, the reason this happens is because when you're doing a reset through settings the device considers uh, whoever is doing the resetting through settings as a legitimate user that needs to have access to the device to be able to actually navigate in here and do this kind of uh, action so assuming you're a legitimate user and you can do this action it doesn't really care to keep any of the protections still on the device so it just removes everything which would include the verification methods that we still have on the device so that's one thing the last thing that you wanted to do and once you do it the device will be fully unlocked uh, and from there you can just go through the setup process in whatever way you want as it will be just fully unlocked uh, i will be doing a reset of this device through settings as a separate video uh, completely unrelated to the bypass if you're interested to see how that goes um, but i'm not gonna go through the resetting here uh, at least as a part of this bypass as it is just a fully automatic kind of process so it shows you absolutely nothing after pressing the erase all data button so anyway with that being said hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching